Tonight, detectives are contacting witnesses after two people were killed in a shooting and fiery crash. This happened last night in northeast Kansas City along Anderson near Norton Avenue. Detectives believe a suspect or suspects fired multiple rounds at a car leading to that crash. Now, officers are confident this neighborhood will help them find answers. This neighborhood um, is, is one to be proud of, uh, one to be an example of as far as um, the neighborhood standing up against crime, uh, coming forward as witnesses. Uh, we expect to have uh, lots of good witnesses in this. We got lots of 911 calls. So when we heard this, we wanted to know, what is the community doing differently? 41 Action News reporter Andres Gutierrez went to the Scarrett Renaissance neighborhood today to see how they reduced crime and have made residents feel safer. Karen Donnelly and her family moved to the Scarrett Renaissance neighborhood in the spring of 2014. She feels safer now than ever before. We've all come together to um, look out for each other and to work with local police representatives and local prosecutors um, to really go after property crime and, and make sure that we all as a neighborhood feel safe. Those who live here say things really took a turn for the better when the Neighborhood Association began a virtual block watch. More than 500 residents so far have signed up to receive email and or text alerts when something is going on in their area. We also have a coordinator who can take uh, reports of suspicious, suspicious activity or things that are going on and then we can work with your police and feed that to the police. That collaboration with law enforcement has pushed out a majority of the criminal activity. Not even three years ago, you wouldn't see people walking the sidewalks. Now you see families, you see baby strollers. And with crime going down, more people want to live here. Linville notes that there is finally new home construction, something that he hasn't seen in decades. Because they love the neighborhood, they love the diversity of it, they love the homes, they love the parks. So that's really, you know, what gives everybody their resilience and uh, willingness to, to try to improve the neighborhood. They're now focusing on preventative measures, but it's tough when some crime isn't predictable. We've always been open to and willing to do anything we can to make this a better place. In Kansas City, Andres Gutierrez, 41 Action News.